Happy Monday, guys. Here we go into another incredible week. And thank God we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's not a train heading towards us right now. But we're seeing hope and we're just excited about what God is going to continue to do. But listen, keep trusting God and keep looking to God through all of this. What an awesome job my wife did yesterday. And um, I just have to let her preach every week and just, I can just go to the beach or something and just hang out. But I hope that you really enjoyed that message and took it to heart. And we're so excited about our May edition. Someone told me today we spelt that wrong. Let me explain that. It's a May edition. We're adding another month of small groups. So bam, it's spelt right. Because we want to make sure that everyone stays as connected as they possibly can during this time. So please, if you're not in a group yet, get in a group. The most connected people in our church right now are those who are currently in a group, just studying together, learning together, growing together. I know Kelly and I's group on Sunday night, we had such a great time talking about forgiveness. Wow, that was a powerful subject. And we're looking forward to talking about this message and and, and other messages that we can see. So anyway, here we are, we're soaping the word of God. We're looking at the scripture, which is God's love letter to us. The observation, what is it saying? If it's his love letter, his manual for life, I need to be clued into what it says. Then the application, it's not just what it says, but what I do with it. And then it's the prayer. God, would you help us as we pray and bring your word alive in our hearts? So here we are. We're going through random scriptures. I'm asking you to submit your scriptures. You can send them to Pastor P at Encounter Church dot today and there's maybe your favorite scripture or scripture you're struggling with and we can just soap it and help you look at that but here's proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 and this is going to be part one so you'll have to be back tomorrow for part two proverbs 3 5 and 6 says those who trust in the lord with all of our hearts do not depend on your own understanding seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. He will direct. He will point the way for your life. So trust in the Lord. We're going to look at the first part today. Trust in the Lord with all of your hearts and do not depend on your own understanding. Here's a question for you. Have you ever really had an important decision to make? Wow, a really tough, important decision. What do you do? You ask around, you seek advice, you research, You do whatever you can, but sometimes it can be hard even to trust other people in that circumstance. Are they telling me the right thing? Are they steering me in the right way? Well, what if if they're lying to me? What if it... And sometimes even in those moments, we can get to a place where we can even doubt God. And we can say, God, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust you in this. But listen to me. God always knows what's best for us. God has a better judge and judgment of what is best and what we need than what we have for ourselves. So therefore, it's so important for us to trust him with every choice that we make. But again, that doesn't negate the fact that we need to still think things through and use common sense because these are all gifts and abilities that God has given us. So just trusting God doesn't mean, man, I'm just going to jump off the cliff and trust God's going to, man, we've got to say, man, I don't need to be doing that. That's not what I need to be. That's not the right thing. We've still got to use our judgment and seek wise counsel around. It's not just a license just to go off and do everything. But I'm telling you right now, trusting God is so important. Trusting God, though, trumps everything else. When you've done everything else, then we look to God. We trust God. Let me re-say that because what I've said didn't come across right. I don't mean we do everything else and then we turn to God. What I'm saying is in trusting God, we do everything else as well. And then together we can push it and pull it all together. And sometimes there are things in my life that I don't need to pray about because I already have the common sense to know those things. And so trusting God is so important for each and every one of our lives. So don't blame God also for what he's not responsible. So let me say it this way. We must be willing to listen and be corrected by God's word and wise counsel. So even though we're trusting, we need to be corrected and advised and counseled by those who are wise. So what's the application? Here it is, four things. Number one, bring your decisions to God in prayer. 
Number two, use the Bible as your guide. If it's not in the Bible, it doesn't need to be in your life. Number three, follow God's leading. And number four, trust God to direct your paths by both guarding and protecting you. And let me say this, three out of four, two out of four, one out of four is not good enough. Every one of those boxes need to be checked. Come on, you need to take it to him in prayer. You need to seek it in his word. You need to follow God and his leading. And then you need to trust him that he'll direct your path. Let me pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you today that you are so awesome. And God, I just pray for everyone that's watching today, that they would trust in their God. They would trust you with their whole lives and everything, God. Believe in God that you're going to take care of us and lead our lives in the right way. God, you know better than we know ourselves what we need for our lives. And God, that's why we look to you and trust in you. Thank you for giving us wisdom in our minds and, and the ability to make decisions. But God, we pray that every decision would be based in prayer and based from your word because God then we will never go wrong in our lives God we thank you for that put your head your protection around us keep us safe keep us well keep your hand upon us and all sickness from us we love you we praise you in Jesus name amen guys we love you have a great week see you again tomorrow morning for part two